Hi everybody, it's Peter with FMACanada.ca. It is a very cold, snowy uh, February here in Alberta, and I hope you guys are nice and warm. And today, I want to give you my first book review coming right up. It's cold summer! Where are you? And now, on with the book. This book was written by Antonio Diego and Christopher Ricketts whom have unfortunately passed on. However, thanks to them, we were able to get a glimpse of how their training was when they were training with Tatang Illustrissimo. And just remember, one of these people that uh, Tatang trained lives here in Alberta. And Master Norman Suanico is one of my favorite mentors. He lived with Tatang for over, over I think, 10 years until he moved to, to uh, Red Deer, Alberta. And, um, this book is pretty well written and there's pretty good details about it but there is one excerpt that I would like to share with you just because it's what stood out from a lot of the good information that they brought here. So it goes like this. Not much is known of the two generations of the Illustrissimos. However, there are many tales of fighting exploits of Melicio Illustrissimo. Guillermo Tinga, the maternal uncle of Antonio Illustrissimo often related how Melicio used to spar with one foot nailed to the floor through a healed scarred hole. With the seeming immobility, Melicio would lure his opponents to where he was able to employ his unique footwork known as lutang, floating, wherein the mobile leg would glide back then forward to create space to effectively lure and then counter an opponent when employed in all eight directions. The footwork is called Walong Apak, or eight steps. Just imagine, someone's got a hole on their foot, and then there's a, and you got a nail through that. And that's when the other foot is stated, st this one foot is stationary, and the other one just goes back and forth, back and forth. And uh, that's what stood out in my mind, and I thought that was kind of cool, um, kind of bizarre. And uh, some people might say, well, that's kind of gross. But hey, you know what? The guy had a hole in his foot, so that's just how it goes. Books are a good source. However, it is not a substitute for training with an actual instructor like Master Norman, Dax Williams, or Guru Filmar, um, and a lot of uh, good instructors that we have here in Alberta. So that's my take on this book. I really enjoyed reading it. Uh, I love the history of how things kind of evolved and to how Kali's Illustrissimo is practiced today. So thanks to those 12 apostles, and including Maestro Norman, who is making sure that Tatang Illustrissimo and the Illustrissimo family's style of Filipino martial arts lives on forever. So if you're practicing Kali's Illustrissimo, keep it up guys. It's it's a great thing to have in your pocket, whether it be self-defense or whether it be just for fun. Yeah, autograph. Yeah, maestro, autographed. That's why this book is very special to me. Get your copy, have a good time reading it. Let me, let me know what you think if you read it. So just comment down below and remember to subscribe and we'll talk to you again soon. Take care, bye.